Meet Japan's most narcissistic governor, Motohiko Saito, the 46-year-old governor of the countryside Hyogo, <laughs> who's all about posting photos and videos of himself, brand outfits, and no helmets, not even at construction sites because it messes up with the hair. In March 2024, an anonymous whistleblower dropped a bombshell letter accusing Saito of extreme power harassment. Power harassment refers to workplace bullying in which a figure of authority uses his authority or power to abuse his subordinates. And this is especially problematic in rural oriented Japan, where saying no to your elders and superiors is a lot more difficult. Saito quickly held a press conference denying everything. Lies! Lies! They're all lies! And here I thought politicians were good at lying. The completely anonymous whistleblower was quickly identified as Yasuhide Watase, a bureau chief. And he got slapped with a three-month suspension. And this dude was set to retire later that month, but now he couldn't. That's gotta be rough. The reason why they got to Watase so quickly was because Saito had his four minions working within the top positions of the Hyogo government, including his right-hand man, the deputy governor Katayama. And Katayama was so loyal to Saito, he went up to Watase's office to confiscate his computer. Watase's private data was then shared around the Hyogo government, the four minions making sure that Watase will never disobey the Saito kingdom again. But Guess what? An independent survey was conducted with the government employees and they found that, yes, Watase was telling the truth. およそ so I hate to admit this, but I'm a little bit jealous because there have been times where I wish I could force open a store that has closed. But a gelato store? Dude, Saito, you're in your 40s. The Hyogo government agreed to open a special investigation committee, with Watase being invited to take the stand, finally giving him the chance to clear his name. But on July 7th, on his 60th birthday, Watase was found dead, having taken his own life. He left behind a document and audio, further exposing the misdeeds of Saito. Watase's wife begged with the officials to not let her husband's death go in vain. And our boy Saito really sucks at hiding his agitation. Eh, and Watase's shocking passing turned this political drama in the countryside Hyogo into national news and Saito a national laughing stock. なるしすとやでなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるなるな
県のマスコットに匹敵するサイズで写真が掲載されたといいます。So they changed the leaflets from this to this? Bro, really wanted to pose like a flight attendant. And Japan loves vending machines, but have you seen the Narcissist vending machine? And these were set in high schools. And remember that audio that Watase had left? 記者が知事に再三にわたって確認を求めるとワインちょっとまた私飲んでないのであのぜひまたオーディオ見て歌声出てよろしくお願いします It exposed Saito's おねだり体質 or mooching tendency こちらの内容に何か心当たりはありますかちょっと今あの曲がないのでこちら知事の発言であるということは間違いないなですかちょっとそこも含めてあの確認が必要かなと思います。He can't remember? So that was Saito asking for free wine so that he could promote them. Just like how he got free bicycle to promote it and this entire wardrobe as well. The best story is when he went to the office and asked for free furniture so that he could promote them. And with all these perks, it's not surprising that Saito still refuses to resign. 道は本当に険しいかもしれませんが、県政を前に進めていくということ、そのために全力で力を尽くしていくということが、私の責任の果たし方だというふうに考えています。Meanwhile, his loyal Katayama did resign. なんであの知事を支えられなかったのですね。本当に私はもう悔しいでしょうないですよ。Remember. He's crying not because a person died, but because he failed his Prince Charming. And things get even darker. The latest story from the Saito Kingdom is that we just found out now that yet another employee had taken his life this April. He was tasked with misappropriating funds to host a lavish parade that went far over budget, and this caused him to suffer from depression. His colleagues decided to set up a donation for the child he left behind, but Saito's minions forced them to stop several times so that they could keep hiding his death. Can you now understand why Watase did what he did? 現状実態として、まあ、2人の職員さんが亡くなられているという,そう,いうふうなことは大きな責任だと思うのでそのあたりをしっかり考えていただきたいと思います。妻と妻の彼氏と3人で暮らすことになりましたワイフが海外で辛い時に支えてくれてた彼には心から感謝してますしワイフが彼氏にするぐらいなのできっと面白い人でしょうから話せるのが楽しみです。This got over 4 million views and even our Chinese neighbors thought it was ridiculous. To break down what's happening, let me introduce you to this new and much hated Japanese trope of Likai no aru kare kun or this super understanding boyfriend. So, a lot of Japanese people can draw manga illustrations, myself included. And because of this, a lot of Japanese people post manga they drew on Twitter X, including girls with issues. And when they post manga essays about difficulties they had in their lives, boom! They are usually met with hate. Why? It's cause of Likai no aru kare kun. He appears and all their problems suddenly vanish like magic. Imagine you're finding life difficult, right? And you read these mangas and go, oh my god, this person is going through the same difficulties like I do. I can so relate. But then the protagonist in the manga suddenly finds a boyfriend and all is well when you're still single. That's gonna hurt. Also, some men see this as female privilege or they find it annoying because the boyfriend suddenly sprouts out of nowhere. And then she suddenly gets married. All is well, hallelujah! People want to know what happened here between the ages of 27 and 28. This one person wrote, We hate this trope because it's like watching a cooking show. And right after the chef cuts potatoes, he's like, Tada! Here's a curry. Enter the ultimate Likai no aru kareku.
留学中の妻に彼氏ができて一緒に日本に帰ってくるんですけどもこの家に彼氏も来ることになりました僕にとって貴重な経験です僕はワイフが幸せなことが一番でそれで僕も幸せになれるし His wife loves to post YouTube videos and that's how I learned that she apparently has dated emotionally abusive men in the past and has this immense feeling of loneliness because her dad was absent that's why she posts videos of herself in the hot springs to deal with her sadness And of course, she has only fans. So his wife was away in Australia for a year on working holiday, and she's coming back with her young 22 year old Japanese lover boy. And this dude is super excited about meeting his wife and her boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god, he is literally the liberal guy meme that conservatives make fun of. I'm a liberal guy. Of course, I carry my wife's purse while she makes out with her boyfriend. By the way, this guy's online username, I am not making this up, is the Pence of Soy because he sells vegan food. This video went super viral and during interviews, his wife seems to be too proud of the fact that she made her husband cry when she slept with another man for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> But now the soy boy's vegan business seems to be doing well. 7月の売上を発表します。I didn't know there was that much demand for a serving of tofu with a side dish of kak. So I kind of feel like this was a marketing ploy, but I gotta ask my male audience, right? Would you be willing to be known worldwide as a soy boy beta kak, which is better than what this girl will forever be known as? Oh, you gotta give him that hawk too and spit all that thing. If you really, really, really want your personal business to succeed, even in Japan, the term second partner or second partner became well known thanks to the media. <laughs> so it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend other than your primary significant other. Showing that yes, we do live in an era of abundance where we are constantly bombarded with options. Meeting people who just want a little bit more is very easy now thanks to dating apps. But for most people, I think what she says would be the most relatable. So I live in Japan and one time on a date I almost got kidnapped and sold into indentured slavery. So you know those things, the things in Japan memes? Well, con artists on dating apps in Japan is some ninja jujitsu s**t. I'll be covering two types of scams today, but the most common and the simple one involves bottakuri ba. And even non-Japanese people can become victims. <laughs> So heads up if you're visiting Japan. Here's how a dating scam that involves bottakuri ba or a ripoff bar works. A guy matches on a dating app with another guy working at this yakuza bar pretending to be a girl, right? But when they actually agree to meet, an actual girl meets the male victim, then she says things like this. But this girl is also working together with the bar and she lures the victim back to their bar. They then suggest you to play a game where if you lose, you have to buy the drink to the girl. And then this happens. So what I'm assuming is happening is that only the guy is getting actual alcohol to get him really drunk while the girl is getting served with water. It's either that or this girl is half Irish. So, 
ショットグラスは飲み放題には入っていません。Even before dating apps, Botakuri Bar was a thing. They usually lure their victims through kakuhiki, which means customer pulling. Usually not literally like this, but kakuhiki refers to a street hustler asking people on the street to come to their bar. So if you're visiting Japan, avoid kakuhiki or else you'll end up like this. These bars exist in Japan because they are very difficult to be legally charged with. Some of you may be going, wait, Dean, I thought Japan was super rural oriented. Exactly! Even in the example I showed you, the Yakuza bar owner claimed that the guy didn't order from all you can drink list. He didn't follow the rules. <laughs> So, Japanese cops usually are like, okay, this is a civil case and we can't really interfere. But that fraud is on easy mode. The expert mode is more convoluted. I'll start with the good news and say that these con artists got arrested. But many male victims are still suffering. I like my non legal Japanese revenge dramas, but this scheme is really convoluted. So I'll let this male victim explain. こちらの男性がマッチングアプリを始めたのは大学3年生の頃。Kind of feel like meeting people is super easy if you're at university. But I guess some people are just timid. Even then, this dude decided to take that first step and meet people through dating apps. So he actually matched with a girl and things were all right on the first date. But on the second date, she started talking about things like your dreams. ビジネススクールに勧誘し、金がない人には消費者金融への借り入れを促していたと言います。このビジネススクールの実態がマルチ商法を行う坂本容疑者らのグループでした。入会金42万9000円を 消費者金融から借金させられた人もいる今回の事件。And this is what this going question looked like. If I went on a date with a girl and she took me to a school that called me stupid, I'll ghost that. I find it interesting that each person is playing a different character to complement the first guy that is supposed to be the charismatic leader. Even if you think this is stupid, a lot of young Japanese men actually did become a victim of this fraud. This is an example of mononashi maruchi or multi level marketing with no products, which sucks! At least with other MLMs, you're left with some useless crap. So these university students are living away from their family for the first time, they are lonely, and the legal age in Japan has decreased from 20 to 18 years old in 2022, meaning that 18 year olds can now take up loans without their parents' consent. <laughs> And 
And that's why they are being targeted. These con artists don't know how to dress like a successful man. This bro looks like a magician. This is the magic trick, huh? Illusion, Michael. But they know who to target. And news channels have been after these guys since last November. So, this is Sakamoto Arasan. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about this. Sakamoto-san. I always find these clips really funny. Why is the suspect even bother replying? <laughs> and because they've been active for over a year, of course some YouTubers like Kenzo have been harassing them. Let's see how this charismatic leader deal with a YouTuber. <laughs> And Hello Kitty is 5 apples tall and weighs 3 apples. They even set up a sting operation trapping a woman who tried to lure men to these schools through dating apps. Girl, you were so ready to force dudes into debt and now you're gonna act ultimate and pure? She then calls for her boss, which is one of the losers that got arrested. Let's see how successful and confident he's gonna act. This dude looks like he's about to cry. He really can't do anything without the big boss. People in the comments section of these news reports were pretty harsh on the victims, and I do agree that they were probably pushovers. But Kenzo, the YouTuber, was also once a victim of MLM because he grew up in a foster care home, his dad absent, and his mom mentally ill. He was desperate to earn cash, and that's when the con artist got him. <laughs> now he goes around confronting con artists and other losers, <laughs> showing that just because you're a victim once doesn't mean that you're always going to be a victim. If you live in Japan, do you think you can evade these con artists and meet your one true match? Because even an American girl can almost fall for a scam like this. What I did not know is that it's actually a thing for Japanese hosts to use Tinder as like a marketing PR scheme and just swipe right on everyone and see who sticks. Like this is fishy as hell. There are alarms in my head going off like crazy left and right and I decide I need to text my Japanese friend. I tell her everything that's going on and she says, Abby, run. Later, when I finally got the opportunity to talk to my Japanese friend, she explained to me that a lot of host clubs are owned by the Yakuza, and what some of the more shady places will do is they'll bring girls in, drug or sedate them, rack their bill up like crazy so that when they wake up, they have a bill that they cannot possibly pay, and then pull a classic, you have to work for us now. <laughs> And you know what time it is! Hentai of the week! This Japanese hentai is on the run, but will he be able to evade justice? Okay, so he's screwed. 
or is he? So basically, this sicko touched a high school girl inappropriately on the train. The brave girl screamed CHIKAN! And she and another brave man started chasing after this Japanese hentai. Noji-ryo-gi-sha-wa-sen-ro-ni-ori-ta-to-mi-rare-masu. I know what he did was wrong, but whenever I see people trying to run away, I kind of feel bad for them and root for them. <laughs> it must be because of those years of watching Looney Tunes as a kid. And he gets caught and gets his name and face plastered nationwide. Hey, he's not bad looking for his age, so let's see if he's gonna get groped in prison. I really struggled with the scripts this week because it was kind of difficult to make these stories sound interesting, but I really want to do this weekly Japanese news thing. And to do that, I really want to hit 10,000 subs within the next two weeks. Doing media has been my lifelong dream. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You'll be helping me a lot. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Until then, take care.